I wanted to get a nice mechanical keyboard that I can actually just leave and use for everything and not have to switch whenever I had conference calls. So I went to Varmilo and I ordered a custom made uh, keyboard. So uh, let's open it up. I must admit, it's a pretty deep rabbit hole on YouTube looking at uh, custom keyboard. Uh, most people seem to make them. The parts are relatively hard to get. People get together in group buyers to do it. They get together on Reddit forums. There's soldering. Um, it seems to be a lot of risk of screwing up, <laughs> as well as um, a lot of parts that are hard to get and whatever. And I was kind of looking around at options. The other thing about being in Japan is that most uh, keyboard kits that you get for uh, custom keyboards are on the ANSI, the, the US layout. Very few options if you're looking around in Japanese JIS uh, format keyboards that work for regular Japanese typing. So I, um, I went looking around for what options there were and I came across the site Varmilo. And the great thing about Varmilo is, is that rather than get a kit that you have to solder together, they actually, um, you can actually do, it's like making a BTO PC, a built to order PC. You actually go on the site and it, it has all the parts. It's got the baseboard, the plate, the, the switches, um, the keycaps, the writing on the keycaps. It's got a bunch of features on it and you can select and customize every single feature on it, including the size of the layout, the layout uh, the keyboard. It's got ISO, ANSI and JIS. Um, unfortunately for Japan, it doesn't offer a Bluetooth wireless option, which I really wanted. Uh, so Vamilo, please, please do that and I might buy another one of your keyboards. Um, but I, so I got the wide option. But yeah, I love the fact that I could get crazy keycaps. I could get the key, the switches that I wanted. I wanted the silent red Cherry MX keys, um, which are really hard to find in shops uh, on ready-built mechanicals. And frankly, they're hard to get even in kits. So yeah, they, they basically, pros, they put this together for me. They made me a keyboard. Um, to my order, basically with uh, all the materials, all the colors, all that. might as well make sure it looks like it's been custom, uh, get something that's uh, unique and only mine. So I went a little bit crazy with the keycap design. This is a really nice place for someone like me that I don't want to, you know, buy a soldering iron and a solder and, you know, need to get a ventilated space and set up a workroom. I don't have that. Um, yeah, they just made the keyboard that I wanted. So, just starting out with the box. It's a nicely designed box. Um, from Shenzhen, China. Got, they said it allowed two to three weeks for delivery to Japan. You know what, I think I might have got it on Christmas Eve, so it's like five days anyway to get it in Japan. So that was pretty good. Um, the price uh, for the custom one, you can get really built keyboards, which are a little bit less, but for the custom one, it worked out at about $250, about 30,000 yen. Here's what's inside the box. It's got a uh, plastic uh, cover, so that is that. USB connection, you know, I really wanted to get the Bluetooth one, but they don't offer it for the Japanese layout keyboard. This is USB mini. Still the color matches the case, which uh, is a nice thing. Got a key puller. If I ever want to swap the keys, you can get one of these, which will help you pull out the keys without damaging them. So that's nice to have. I think I've got one of those somewhere anyway, but yeah, I figured I might as well just toss one in there. I need like a dollar extra. It is 110% layout. Boom. And um, yeah, it's got the key design which I requested. So let's get the case off and take a look at this thing. Nice, nice, look at this. Okay, so first of all the back has got a wooden back, or at least it looks like wood, maybe it's fake wood, with purple bottom. And the top of the board, this is pretty sturdy, it's, uh, this is definitely over a kilogram. And here are the keys that I chose. You can sort of see the design. It's, uh, you can actually choose individual keys. So I deliberately made like the escape and the, the uh, enter key orange. Made these a little <laughs> wave sort of designs. I sort of ran out of room here, so uh, yes, I made these other keys basically dark gray. But um, oh, you can already hear. Listen to that. The silent keys. That is that is quiet. I mean, compared to my blue, oh, that is a nice sound. Well, I'm going to put this down in a moment. That is so nice. I, I got um purple RGB lights. I don't know why I went for that. I figured I should probably should have gotten white. But again, I just wanted the whole world to know that this is custom made, uh, that I ordered this. Oh, I see. And there's a there's a QR scan for where the uh, online manual is. I'll figure out how to get the other one. Okay. Oh. Oh. This feels so nice. This is the first. This, this is, so I, the um, cherry um, linear silent red uh, switches that I got for this, they're the ones that determine the noise and the feel. This feels so nice. This feels so nice. It feels really nice. Oh. 
So it's not perfectly silent, but as a mechanical goes, there's no click, there's no reverberation. Ha 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 ha, oh, yes. I'm happy. This is this is really good. If you want to get into uh, keyboards as a hobby, you should definitely uh, probably get used to using ANSI keyboards because you'll have way more options. But uh, yeah, if you just want someone to make you a really nice keyboard for you, the way that you like it, all the colors, all of the uh, specification of the internal parts, um, and have it be built really solid, um, Varmilo, this is this is pretty good. I'll give updates, um, but um, I'm I'm loving this right now. One other thing that I just noticed actually with the uh, Vermilio is that yes, the, the purple RGBs, you can turn them on. Probably should have gotten white, but I figured yeah, it's custom. I might as well look at, make it look a bit different. So yeah, awesome keyboard. This cost me $240.91 to get made. The ready-made keyboards are cheaper. They're about $150 on the side. You can make a, a good mechanical, especially a 60% board, for like less than $100, um, but you have to make it. And um, yeah, you know, I, I figure uh, it's a bit like a watch or a wallet or it's something that you use every day. Um, it's probably worth it. Lately, since I've been working at home every day, I'm spending, um, you know, 10 hours a day sometimes just typing. So it seemed to me worth the investment as a little Christmas present to myself to get a keyboard that would be nice and comfortable and quiet that I could use in every situation that I didn't need to switch keyboards when I was taking certain calls. Uh, and this keyboard looks like it's that. Um, maybe the wrist uh, wrist is necessary, but other than that, so far I'm really happy. I'm, in fact, I'm stoked. This is uh, no one else has a keyboard like this. I'm pretty sure this is a one of a kind. I designed it. It's got everything that I asked for. It works great. Looks cool. I mean, I like it. Um, so I'm super happy. That's a Varmilo. I'll put the information for where you could uh, see the website yourself down below. And I really hope that uh, more options like this come out uh, from other keyboard makers where they let you custom build to order the keyboards that you want. I'm pretty happy with this one for myself, so pretty awesome. Boom, peace.